Time for us to focus on Shelton here every week, brought to you by our community credit union, Mike Fiola, Darren Moody from the Shelton Police Department. Good morning, guys. Good morning, Jeff. Good morning. We've got some uh, good conversations to have here today. Uh, first things first, uh, of course, let's continue on with our conversations, Chief, on uh, school resource officers. How's that uh, working out for the community? It's working out incredibly well oh, um, for the officers, the school staff, the students. Um, we're rotating the officers through, like we said, because we're not... We don't have a full-time officer mm -hmm. yet, so they're doing this. They're days off, signing up for overtime. Um, they're visiting all the schools, checking in on a regular basis. And it's funny because the first day I went, the kids, you're walking down the campuses, and the kids are going, oh, the police are here. Well, it's happening. So we're only a week into it, and I walk into campuses now, and they're like, hey, how you going? High fives coming down. They're Aww. used to seeing the officers there That's now. That's great. And Alex and I were talking the other night at a fundraiser, and Alex says, that's how it should be. Yeah. It shouldn't be an event that the officers are there. It should be. We're here for your safety, and we're here to say hi. That's great. And it, it's going real well. Our officers are excited about it. They're telling me daily how they're going into classrooms and having safety conversations with the kids, just generic, and getting to know them. Nice. That's great. Oh, that's, oh, that's really good news. Really that is great. good news. So we'll continue to bring all the information there when we have that. Lieutenant Fiola, you are in here today. Traffic safety and a reserve program. Yeah, so um, I think we spoke about this a couple months ago, but we had gotten um, some state funding to do traffic emphasis. Uh, obviously, we want to reduce any type of traffic fatalities and collisions in our city, so um, traffic safety is very important to us. That being said, um, we partnered with the Washington State Traffic Safety Commission to get uh, traffic safety grants, and so basically... Um, from the 1st to the 14th, we had put out there that, hey, distracted driving, the cell phone tickets, put the cell phone down, no texting, no driving, because it just it leads to accidents. Mm -hmm. So um, we got the funding to go out, go out and uh, enforce that, and we had a uh, pretty big success. We had two to three officers, part of the emphasis, and it, was, it ranged mostly at nighttime, but it, it was in the midday too. Uh, we had close to 100 contacts. Um, let me see, I got my numbers here close to 88 citations and infractions issued. Wow. And that's wow. just here in the city. Right. Um, so. Yeah, I still see people on their phone. Yeah, oh, no. so unfortunately, you know, um, sometimes we have to educate through enforcement, and that's just one of those things that we're going to have to do. And this is what, two-week period? Yeah, two-week period. Jeez. Um, so we actually led our the county and the region for traffic emphasis uh, enforcement. Um, really proud of the guys and gals that went out there, and they worked really hard at it. It says something when the city of Shelton can go out there and do this. Yeah. And be a leader in the region uh, it does it really we does. have enthusiastic yeah. staff we have a bunch of great folks down there Absolutely. I was, yeah. nick no Scott, means no in the news the other day <laughs> nick was saying that what did he say 15 minutes out of every hour somebody drives they're fiddling yeah something like that's that that's probably yeah. accurate yeah, yeah. can't right. believe it is it easier to catch somebody in the daytime or the nighttime you know, I th you know, personally, from the time when I was on the road, uh, daytime was easier for me because I could see in the side of the car than yeah. most time. But, yeah. you know, like we... You can see that glow, though, you see that the soft phone. glow from Right. The phone. Nice. True, yeah. and that's true. But, you know, the thing we're just telling people is just, just put it down. Yeah. Um, I Nothing know... Nothing can be that important. Right. You know? Yeah. To, to and some of these citations were not... A, a good portion of them were not just for cell phone violations. Because the officers are at the schools, they're also working the school zones. Right. Um, oh, so yeah. some of this is going to be speeding violations, yeah. stop sign violations, fair to yield violations. Yeah, that's a good point the chief brings up is it wasn't, you know, 88 tickets for cell phone violations. Those were reasons for stops, but people had no insurance, suspended driver's license. We contacted people for driving under the influence while texting, which is oh, you know, double scary. <laughs> um, so we had a couple of warrant arrests out of it, had some felony narcotics arrests out of it. Um, good things came from it. It's a good gateway into, you know, trying to find criminals at that point as well. So. Um, you know, put the cell phone down, you know, iPhones, I think there's a lot of features on the smartphones now that actually sends automatic text to people saying, Hey, I can't text you. I'm driving. Kind yeah. Of oh, yeah. So, you know, just use it. I, I know this, they're, they're addicting. I get it, but uh, put the phone down. <laughs> and we're all guilty of it. I mean, it, it's just the world we grew up in, the world we lived in. And when I was a kid, seatbelts, you didn't have to wear seatbelts. Nope. So it was a chore getting used to wearing seatbelts, <laughs> uh -huh. you know? And as a, we like, had rotary phones. There you go. <laughs> and, and even me, you know, as a, as a police chief, I'm driving down the road and I get a call from dispatch. Oh. And I'm thinking, crap, it's an emergency. Oh my God. I got... And I have to catch myself and go, okay, right. How, how do I do this right and safe? Yeah, I think, you know, police officers and medics, they're exempt from that law, but we definitely try to. When applicable, just pull over because it sets a good image that yeah. we're not driving on the phones either. So Very good. Um, yeah. Uh, re uh, Reserve Academy. Yeah, Bringing so, that back, huh? Yeah. Uh, our last academy was in 2015. It was a huge success. We graduated, I think, seven or eight reserve officers from the Shelton Police Department. 
Um, there was three from the Mesa County Sheriff's Office and then a couple from uh, other agencies. Uh, from that batch, we actually hired, I think, six Oh, six wow. of our reserves so um it's a good chance for us to see what kind of officer they'll be and how they interact with our community and it gets their foot in the door um so you know it's a win-win so this year we are partnering with the thurston county sheriff's office um yelm police department and i think Skokomish tribal police are going to send some applicants as well and we're going to host a 2018 reserve academy and we hope for the same success we had before um, a reserve if for those that forgot about it basically it's just a volunteer um, they'll come and do 250 training hours through the, the training commission at our police department um, where they'll be certified as reserve police officers and what they do is just augment our full-time officers they'll ride help help us with community events fairs parades school events and things of that nature um, and it's, it's a it's a win-win they get to give back to the community and also gain some experience and see if law enforcement's the fit for them. Um, I know I started as a reserve, and I think the chief did too. Did you? So, yeah, oh, that's really cool. Pretty common that you start as a volunteer. Uh, oh, right any on. sort of automatic disqualifiers, or what do people need to like have ready to show an ID or something? Yeah, like that? they'll go through a background check, and they'll go through the same as a police officer: a background check, a polygraph, a psychiatric evaluation. All of that has to go through. Um, and like Fiola said, <laughs> this is a great opportunity for folks to get their foot in the door and find out. We've had people be reserves that come in and go, you know what, this isn't for me. Oh. It's not for me. Um, on the flip side, we've had people so great that we've hired them. That's um, awesome. It's unfortunate that in our own area, we couldn't get more involvement with it. And that's why we went outside with Thurston and said, are you interested? And if for everybody, it's a good thing to have. Um, it's free labor from a management standpoint. Yeah. You know, it doubles your labor force, but it also gives us an opportunity to be able to see what kind of police officer they're going to be. Oh, that's that's cool. great. So what are the dates on that? Or when do you have some uh, we, deadlines coming Yeah, up? we kick off May 1st. So we've actually did our um, recruitment. Oh, yeah, and got yep, started our backgrounds cool. and all those things. So uh, it's about, I think, a 15-person academy this year. And um, But no, to, to re, you know, the basic requirements, you know, you know Keep your nose clean. And um, is there an age requirement? Twenty-one. Yeah, 21. And that just has to do with our, our laws in regards yeah. to carrying a pistol. Right. Sure. So and it's a pretty intense program. When these people graduate from this, they're really involved. I mean, they're coming. Most of them work. They've got another job, uh -huh. so they're coming. It's like going to night school. They're coming <laughs> weekends and evenings during the week. Um, and by the time they finish, they're what nine months into it. Yeah, eight nine months. So we'll start May first. It'll be class one, and then we'll graduate them on September twenty second. Wow, it's a it's a very intense, heavy duty. And then from that, they'll go into a field training program. So like I said, we're nine months to a year Easily. from the time you start, till you're ready to actually do. Oh, this. that's good. That's, that's good. Great. And then you see, I mean, especially if they are juggling other opportunities yeah. or things they got in their lives, that really shows you guys later. This person is into it. I mean, committed. they they are committed. Absolutely. We had in, we, you know, we we had our academy, and I I'd love to say they all stay here in Shelton, um, <laughs> but even on our academy, we had two of our reserves hired shortly after they got out of the academy at other agencies, wow. and that's that's a fact of life. And it's good, it's good. It gives us the opportunity to show them off, and the success that they have where they go. Yeah, that's true. Cool. Yeah, and it gives people in our community the opportunity, if they're interested, to be in law enforcement to get that chance. Because it is com extremely competitive to get on a full-time position. I bet. Police department. Oh, I yeah. bet, yeah. yeah. Lieutenant Fiola, Chief Moody from the Shelton Police Department here helping us focus on Shelton today and every day brought to you by our community credit union. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Good to see much. you. And we'll see you guys at the celebration. Yes. We shall see how we do. <laughs>